Anyhow, um, also in the news, we, we the show made a massive purchase on what was it Friday? <laughs> Big. I got a poll ready. <laughs> I got a poll ready about that. What's the okay? Well, you gonna you gonna clue me in about that or no? What's what what, what are you? You're already <laughs> laughing about it. So what's what's the deal? Well, you got to introduce the topic first. I can't. I can't just. Spill oh, okay, the beans, okay, I guess. okay. 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 Here we go. <laughs> All right, everybody, so I'll just take it over from here. We got so much to talk to you about that we didn't really go through an intro, but I this is one of the ones that is near and dear to my heart because, uh, yes, in every way, shape, or form, we have acquired here on the show the rights, and we're talking about early day one release rights to a 512 gigabyte Valve Steam Deck. Top of the line, uh, we have one on order here for the show. So uh, just and just in case... Anyone thinks that we are pulling your leg, we are not, because uh, just because I want to, in in all honesty, show everybody what we've got here. Whoa, I'm on the wrong wrong thing here. Uh, this is what we got. Check it out. This is the receipt. So we have one coming here, and we're excited because Corey and I were sitting there eating lunch on Friday, even though there was no show. We were hanging out. And we, we were really impressed because as soon as we got done with the show on Thursday afternoon, it was like literally minutes and Corey sent me a message and I'm like, what's this? He's like, they announced the Steam Deck. I was like, no, they didn't. <laughs> I was like, and I, and I just yeah, went yeah. in and I was like, and I looked at the text message and was like, what? I was like, damn, it's really powerful and way, way better than what we thought, right? So, uh, and I, the first thing I said to him was, well, we'll have one. I was like, there, there's no way I'm not getting that because there's just too many games. But then the second part about it is the value that you get here, okay? And what they're promising you, okay? So here's what they're basically promising you. They're promising you that at any level of system that you buy from them, from either $399 to $649, which is the one that, that we purchased, okay? Um, there is going to be the ability to play this device no matter what, 720p on all AAA titles across the Steam catalog, okay? <clears throat> so that is, A, number one, the most important thing, right? So, and when they said this, they said, look, we didn't really create something just to play the Steam library in and of itself. We created something in the mind of being basically a portable computer. And they actually mean it because there's a place to put in a dock, but they said any Type-C dock will work with it, and you could hook it up to any peripherals, on top of hooking it up to peripherals, it'll support every standard piece of equipment that you could connect to a PC today, including external monitors, Ethernet, mouse, keyboard, whatever you want. So basically, this is a 720p AAA rated game, right? Now, they worked with AMD to put together one of the best APUs they could possibly find. <clears throat> and on top of it, it's going to support everything from ray tracing right down to the bottom Supports four cores, but actually runs in an eight core. I think it's some sort of hybrid eight core mode, right? So where this, yes. where yeah, it, yeah, it, I think so. Well, that's what they said. It's going to kind of like emulate eight cores, okay? And the specs, the, the specs beyond that, okay. <clears throat> One of the things that was really nice about it is the actual hardware itself actually has two different touch pads, okay, on board. Uh, I'm trying to find the picture that we had for that one picture for that one because there's so many links that we have um so basically what they're saying is these two bad boys right here the the thumb pads underneath the thumb pads are actually touch pads okay so that's not that's actually really cool it's got a perfect layout it's got two under the belly uh triggers on both sides and mm -hmm. uh tell me tell me a little bit more Corey, about what you found out because that's that's where i'm at right now yeah, exactly. I mean, a lot of things you said uh, are all things I also noticed too. Um, yeah, those touch pads are, are pretty nice. Um, as far as the size, there's a few pictures of people holding it, and I don't think it's going to be too large. Um, you know, people, I wouldn't want a smaller screen uh, because no. touch screen, it is touch screen too. I think you might might not mention that, maybe you did. Oh, yeah. Uh, it but is, yeah, yeah, it is touch screen, um, which is pretty cool for Seven communication, inch. supposedly, you know, because you said, you know, to be able to run other things in addition to the game. Uh, the idea is hopefully you could maybe run like Discord or something through it, some kind of via voice over IP for games that would have such a thing. Uh, I know doing some research and preparing for today's article that um, uh, they were they're still working, and I haven't seen if they've fixed it yet, but they're still working on 
uh, their anti-cheat software mm-hmm. so that hopefully before it's out in December, it can have a, the anti-cheat integrated and actually functioning as, as it should, which should lead it to be able to play other games that people would want to play like Call of Duty, PUBG, things that things that really rely on anti-cheat uh, stuff uh, to really function properly other than, you know, first person or other than like single player games. Right. Um, and then um, let's see. So, yeah, I think it should be pretty nice to hold. They did mention you should get like seven to eight hours of battery life out which of it if fantastic. you're just playing, which you're playing at just basic games, uh, not not the really super intensive games or just maybe using it to surf the web and stuff. You should be able to get pretty good, pretty good speed or um, range out of it, you know, longevity. Um, they basically were saying that it basically runs like 60 hertz or not 60 hertz, but um, uh uh, th- pretty good frame rates basically They're saying all the time. 60 they did say 60 yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um without much uh supposed lag that's what we that's what some of the early reviews i was seeing out of it too mm-hmm. and one of the things as well that actually i put a poll a poll in chat uh about it as well was talking about this just the space to store the storage space you know and there were three different versions right uh the basic version you see there the 400 dollar version uh that's 64 gigabytes uh, the the one of the main things to keep in mind about that that was different that people have had questions about is it's a different kind of memory, right? And so you can also notice on the 256 and 512 versions it's NVMe SSDs. They're M2 form factor mm-hmm. and they're internal. Um, there was a a correspondence from one of the guys at Valve that confirmed it is an M2 of the uh, of a certain slot size here. I can get it for you. The the two two three zero module. So that's the size. And you can change it out if you uh, chose to open the device. They didn't seem to say in their <clears throat> correspondence that you would not be able to, and they didn't seem to say they are encouraging you from not opening it, but they kind of also say they should, you shouldn't replace it yourself, that, that particular, Which, the M2 internal. Right, so, here, so here's the other right. thing, right? So, so important to note yeah. that that's going to be important to people because what they're also saying is that everything will be installable on this, right? So yes, why, yes. Why, the storage, yeah, well, yeah. why the storage medium is going to be a huge deal for the entire marketplace <clears> is because in addition to the SSD that you're going to be able to put in like a one gigabyte, which will run slower, obviously, than NVMe, I think you're going to be able to support two gigabytes. And I looked up the prices for those. If you don't want to go with a super pricey one, you get two gigabytes for around 60 bucks right now for a nice one. Mm-hmm. That's going to give you the, the speed that you could play games off of it direct. And your library, obviously your triple A's will go on the NVMe. Right. But when, when mm-hmm. Corey mentioned this to me, I was like, what do you mean? You can't like the storage. They said you could play games right off of it with a difference in speed between yeah. the two. Right. But they don't want you cracking mm-hmm. this thing open because Let's face it, it is chucked full of stuff inside of there that I wouldn't want to because it's all motherboard based. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I wouldn't be comfortable with opening up something like this. But uh, the fact that they're saying that, hey, if you want to go ahead and install Uh whatever you want on it, it'll run. We don't care. We're not locking the system down. And I said to Corey, it's going to sell like hotcakes. If that's the case, this thing is going to sell out because everyone's going to want one. And it certainly is. Yeah, um, it's gone. It did already. Yeah, it did already. And we have another link. At, well, well, I'm sure we'll get to it, but we can pretty mention it. You know, the scalpers are already doing their thing. Mm-hmm. So uh, we've already seen some of that stuff. We have an article down below talking about that as well. Oh, yeah. But I mean, yeah. So on, on my end, it looks super cool. Um, it It's it's the next. Like upgraded version of the switch. Right? Yes. Because the Switch really, really was a success because it really made the portable games for Ninten- <clears throat> Nintendo work. And of course, there were some really big titles that really uh, always flagship Nintendo new hardware releases. And that was the same case there with Zelda Breath of the Wild. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that really sold really well and really ran really well on that system. So it, really, it worked out for, in that case. But remember, Nintendo, it wasn't an open an open system. No. It's, it runs Nintendo games. You go through their uh, their uh, store to buy things through the same through the same OS. So this is kind of, as they say, yeah, it's kind of like a mini PC in your hands. It's kind of, we hope, we hope it's the thing that Valve has tried before and didn't have a great, didn't have a great uh, result last time, but we're hoping it, it works out this time. And it, it looks like it's going to hit all the main marks. I, I think so. so. And, and I mean, just by the design of it, and look, it's taken a long <clears throat> time for somebody to hit a home run in the, the mm-hmm. portable gaming console market, right? And the the only Mm -hmm. reason why we're so excited about this and super, super excited is because it's flexible. It's they're not locking you into to their system where they're basically saying this is all you're going to get from us and you can't change anything, which is great. 
Okay, they're saying mm -hmm. that, hey, we're building this thing to last at least two to three years down the down the gaming cycle, which I'm sure then there'll be Steam Deck, you know, three or two or whatever. You know, they're 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 building their own marketplace for this. But the design of it is really critical towards its success, right? And <clears throat> the fact that they added in the creature comforts that everyone would want straight from day one, where no one's gonna have to really go back in and, and re-engineer this thing to make it do what it wants, what you want it to do is great. Mm -hmm. But the fact mm -hmm. that here, they show it right here. This is it connected to a PC. And the guys over, I think it was one of the, the gaming tech sites, said that they went in, they connected this to a dock station, put it up against a 27-inch game gaming monitor. They ran it all day long, and they could barely tell that they weren't on a high-end gaming machine, except for the fact that it wasn't running higher than 1080p graphics at, at any moment. But they said even at that, it didn't really take away from the gaming experience. So if you're a gamer, and especially a PC gamer, no one, mm -hmm. no one has form functioned uh, this type of device that I can think of ever really, except for some outside manufacturer that required a lot of tinkering. So mm -hmm. good for them. One, uh, one thing to maybe mention too, in the past, um, there's always been like a question of how well will these games play or can they play on Linux? Mm -hmm. And because this is programmed in Linux. And one thing to mention, which may not be apparent, is that... Uh, many, many of the titles on the Steam OS library are compatible with Proton, the, the tool Proton that Steam released. And if you don't know what that is, uh, Steam released a, a tool called Proton that works with Steam Play. Basically means that it's a compatibility thing where you run the game through and it, any game that would play on Windows can play on Linux. Mm -hmm. It's like a, it's a tool that Steam uses that they developed uh, basically to make this work. So that in and of itself makes this even more versatile than it would be otherwise, you know, because it's, it's something that they can, they now have a hardware do, which now they're controlling the hardware mm -hmm. with AMD. And now they have the software that will run any game. Most of the games you would run through your steam library on PC right. to run on Linux and boom, there you go. So it's, uh, it's really, I mean, yeah, a couple yeah, other cool. things to note, right? They kept the headphone jack. They kept the type <clears> C <throat> port. On top of that, they also included full Bluetooth support for, for headphones. So you'll be able to do that. Also, there's a Steam button, so you'll be able to use all your Steam connections. But I also imagine that I, my, one of my first thoughts was, hey, we usually play a lot of Steam games together, Corey and myself and, and a few other people. But the difference is, is that generally I, I chat through Discord, right? And I imagine I'll be able to load Discord through this without any issue. And that'll be great. Uh, I'll just be sitting there playing, you know, wherever I want and just relaxing and kicking back. And it's great for travelers, yep. great for people on the go. So uh, it looks fantastic. But, you know, the downside of it is, like Corey was saying earlier, is that obviously scalpers got their hands on these things. And when we realized, so let's just set this up, right? Corey and I were out eating lunch. I, I brought my <clears throat> iPad with me just in case I couldn't get mm -hmm. on to purchase it. And we, uh, we were sitting there. <laughs> yeah. And it literally, I got one in, in my container within seven minutes, except it took about 15 different reloads before it finally pushed me to my payment options. And then at 12, I guess it was uh, 119 local time, which was 1019 Pacific Standard Time, which is when it was released, I got the confirmation email saying, hey, you got one. And I was like, oh, man. I was like, I got a day one delivery unit because I think after that you can now go and you can pre-order one, but they're saying it's going to be third quarter 2022 before you get it, right? So scalpers are having a field day with that though as well because mm -hmm. here's some of the things that they're seeing right now is prices that were going as high as four thousand one hundred dollars. Here's one at forty five hundred. Forty five hundred. I'm just looking it up now. I'm I'm on eBay now, You're, just checking it out. And... I looked this morning and I saw some there, but I didn't know they already got to forty five hundred again. That's ridiculous. Here's a, here's a 512 or 4,500. That's just crazy, people. Let, let's don't forget, right? This is this is a PC in your hands, and it's amazing for all the things we talked about for what it can, what it will be able to do for portable gaming. Mm -hmm. But let's not forget, you can get a desktop for less than 4,500 dollars, <laughs> <Yeah, it's true. laughs> even with all the problems with GPUs, right? So don't. It's just crazy. I mean, this is not surprising, mm. right? It's not surprising, but it's crazy, as always. I, I did have a thought. Just add it again. I had a thought, Corey. The thought was to use it for a week and then, and then give it away to a subscriber on the channel. But I would only do that in one case, in only one case. That's if, if we had over 10,000 subs. <laughs> here, here, <Yeah>. here, here's <laughs> one. Yeah, here's one. Uh, Valve Steam Deck 512 NVMe gaming system pre-sale scalped and ready, twenty thousand. Oh come on now, that's ridiculous. 
That's crazy. So hey, funny. But you know, it's it's not it's not out of the ordinary considering how hard it is to still get PlayStation fives and Xbox Series X's out there right now. You know, with how how hard it is to get your hands on these chips. Um, I'm just excited to say uh, we got one coming day one, which is awesome. Literally had it, in. and it is kind of nice too that they're going to release them when they're made. Yes, I don't know that. We, I don't know if you already said that, but uh, you may have. But when they're when they're made, whenever they're like made uh, in batches or whatever, they're going to just send them out mm-hmm. when they're ready. They're not. They're not going to have them all like in one giant mass no. ready to go mm-hmm. and then shoot them all out at once. Mm-hmm. So that's that's cool too. Um, so if you did pre-order early, then uh, you should be one of the first to get it whenever whenever that is. I'm I'm assuming day one launch. There's going to be one here. <laughs> Because of the timeliness in which we purchased, because when I per- when I put my money in for the five dollars, it was saying Q1, so of twenty, or maybe it was twenty. No, I was actually earlier than that. I gotta go back and look, but it was pretty. Yeah. I mean, it's very cool. It's very it's cool. very cool. All right, folks. Hey, like, subscribe, follow. Uh, again, we like gaming, so you know we don't talk about it a lot here because that's what we do to relax. But it's one of those things for us that. When we look at something and we talked about it, re- I think it was what maybe a month and a half ago, <clears throat> we had mentioned the fact that that Steam might be doing this. Uh, there was a lot of fact, or Valve was doing this. There was a lot of questions whether or not it was actually going to happen, and it was like boom, announce, drop. They did it. Congratulations to them. So 